Alright, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you look are doing well and welcome to today's video which is a Chelsea news video and yes, I've got a Football Therapy t-shirt on. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about three things. Firstly, Conor Gallagher's superb form down at Charlton Athletic in the Championship and what that means for Frank Lampard's youth charge side. Can he get in next season or will he clash with Mason Mount? What's going to happen there? I'm also going to be talking about Christian Pulisic. How really, if you're looking at how he could fit into this Chelsea team, maybe he is a number 10 and not a winger and actually offers something completely different to Mason Mount. Yep, talking about Mason Mount again, all these players threatening his position <laughs> but seriously how Christian Pulisic does offer a new dynamic to the team and once embedded it appropriately Frank Lampard probably will use him a lot more I imagine and finally although not exclusively and directly a Chelsea story I do want to talk about Eden Hazard's start at Real Madrid and perhaps will he eventually regret leaving Chelsea? The reason I want to talk about that is more about how Chelsea look now without him and how he looks without Chelsea. So we'll get into all of that. But before we do, remember to subscribe to Football Therapy if you have not yet subscribed because I upload Chelsea content daily. So you really do need to sub if you're a Chelsea fan and if you're not, subscribe anyway because I will eventually do non-Chelsea videos again. And remember, if you want to help me out, you can like this video. Right then, let's start with Conor Gallagher, another Chelsea Academy product that's doing really well out on loan. He played for Chelsea in the preseason and like people like Billy Gilmore, he was really, really impressive. Obviously, Billy Gilmore stayed with the first team, but Conor Gallagher went on loan to Charlton. Now, I think perhaps if Chelsea didn't have the likes of Mason Mount in their ranks playing, well, that was always going to play for the first team this season, Conor Gallagher might have actually stuck around because he looks absolutely superb in pre-season for Frank Lampard, but he's gone down to the championship to Charlton. He's already scored five goals and got an assist. Now, he's playing in the same position and same role generally as Mason Mount, and he's a bit of a different player actually in terms of his style and expression, but he's doing super, super well already and looking like he could be a massive, massive positive for that club, and they're one point off the playoff spaces at the moment. What will this mean for Conor Gallagher if he, say, gets like 10, 12 goals and a bunch of assists down in the championship this season? Will he come back to Chelsea to play? I mean, he's... <laughs> It's almost like a good time and a bad time to be a Chelsea Youth Academy product in that position because obviously it's a good time because you've got Frank Lampard, the Youth Revolution, the Academy Revolution. But then again, because of that, you've got players like Mason Mount that are playing in that role and they're going to be number one. And then Christian Pulisic, who looks like he might suit the number 10 better after all. So it's going to be difficult for Conor Gallagher, but regardless, he looks like an absolute baller and he's still very young, so he could come back to the Chelsea first team next season and be rotated in and out and then see sort of what happens from there. But it's really positive signs from the Loney. Another demonstration of excellent Chelsea Academy talent. Speaking of number 10s in Mason Mount and people fighting for positions, I did want to talk about Christian Pulisic in that position ever since. Uh, Chelsea won at home to Newcastle. Frank Lampard has been, yes, wait for my constantly used terminology, waxing lyrical about Christian Pulisic's performance in that game. He obviously came off the bench and he offered something different and ultimately created the play that created the winner. You know, he, he did the bit of play that got the ball to Callum, who then assisted Marcos Alonso for the winner in that game. Although Callum hudson Adoy was excellent throughout that game and definitely offered Chelsea a different dynamic, the argument can be made, a very strong argument, is that Chelsea never score that goal if they don't have that different element of creativity in the number 10 spot in the hole where Pulisic comes in and plays that ball. Frank Lampard obviously acknowledged that and was singing his praises, but I want to pose the question. Obviously, Mason Mount's been an incredibly effective player in that number 10 spot, but with Pulisic, he's obviously been rotated in and out of the wing positions, but Pulisic has played 10 before, obviously for USA and even Dortmund. So I guess Chelsea fans, although knowing he can play 10, they were really sort of thinking of him as playing and as starting as a winger because of the whole Eden Hazard replacement thing and obviously Willian and Pedro getting older but I think he might be more comfortable playing there it's it's difficult because he was so so good on the left wing in pre-season Christian Pulisic playing on the shoulder he's so fast traveling with the ball carrying the ball like up a flank that you think wow wicked he's a good dribbler but we'll throw a few balls on the top he'll run into them and finish off 
excellent winger offer something completely different to all our other wingers really so that made a lot a lot of sense but looking at it now he's obviously got Helen Hudson Doyle's going to be starting Williams going to be starting it's been a difficult place to muscle into but Mount's form's dipped a little bit perhaps fatigue's finally caught up with him from playing a thousand games in loads of different positions early doors this season and when Christian Pulisic went into the hole his creativity and the way he plays is different actually offered Chelsea something much needed at the time. Mount's obviously very direct and wants to play quick one-touch combinations, pop a shot off or get an assist or press and jump on the opposition defender or CDM in possession. Very, very direct and quick. But Christian Pulisic is a little bit more of a dribbler. He wants to hold on to the ball and look for that different pass. Something a bit different to Mason Mount. He has got that sort of creative dribbling winger attribute, but he uses it as a number 10, which is just a bit different. He gets that different pass when he finds Callum Hudson-Odoi to assist Marcus Alonso. Like the goal at Southampton when he came on and assisted Michy Batshuayi. It's that little different pass that he does. He's good on the ball, but he just... He's, he's thinking slightly differently to how Mason Mount will think. And I think, there's a lot of thinking going on there, that that's a really strong attribute. And Frank Lampard will probably start thinking of him as a number 10 to be rotated in and out with Mason Mount, but also obviously being used on the wing. Now, when Chelsea signed Christian Pulisic, everyone was like, oh, well, he can play across the three behind the striker, both wings and the 10. Fine, but everyone thought he's going to play left wing or right wing, but now... It could be a number 10 and Mason Mount might have something to worry about and you know what that's probably a good thing Marcus Alonso started playing better when Emerson was playing better and took a spot competition for one space in the team is healthy and if Mason Mount and Christian Pulisic are both pushing each other for that same number 10 spot offering something different and trying to demonstrate their own skill set more and more and more it's very very good for Chelsea and hopefully the whole team performance raises up even more what do you think? Get down in the comments. I want to hear your opinions on the number 10. Let me know who would you start or do you think they should just be in direct competition and rotated a lot. Finally, I want to talk about Chelsea's recently departed talisman. Chelsea's, well, arguably Chelsea's most talented ever player, if not best. I think Frank Lampard's Chelsea's best ever player, but Eden Hazard, basically. Served the club incredibly well, went in a good fashion, respectful fashion, and out with a bang and helped Chelsea win a European trophy. In some style, might I add. Eden Hazard went with Chelsea fans' blessing to Real Madrid. There you go. <laughs> but things have started slowly for him, and it's kind of sad to see. Obviously, the fashion of Thibaut Courtois leaving Chelsea left a bad taste in the mouth, so no one really cried for him when he basically entered a poor patch of form for Madrid. But Eden Hazard, he has scored a wonderful goal for them and demonstrated little spells of flashes of brilliance. But he started slow, he was overweight, in poor fitness, he sustained an injury, and he's starting to sort of show poor form really. Unsurprisingly some Real Madrid fans have turned on him as they just turn on everyone all the time and they're saying oh we brought the wrong Hazard, oh Hazard's you know he's only playing because he's the captain of Zidane FC and all this but he although he assisted the only goal in the Champions League in that 1-0 win against Galatasaray, Hazard Missed an absolute sitter, he had an open goal and he managed to hit the crossbar, which is just so unlike him. And also, he gave the ball away a lot of times. He, I don't know if he was trying to overplay or didn't know where his teammates were. And it's a frustrating thing to watch. I watched that game and again, I am one of those people who just generally dislike Real Madrid and they'd probably, you know, as a Chelsea fan, I often like to when people dislike Chelsea. It's kind of like a partisan fan thing. You don't want people to like you so much. So I'm sure Real Madrid fans won't be angry to hear me saying I don't really like Real Madrid. But I wanted Eden Hazard to do well because he's such a great servant for Chelsea Football Club. He's a great professional and by all accounts, a really nice dude. But will he regret leaving Chelsea Football Club if he enters a sustained spell of poor form and Real Madrid don't do or get the positive results that they're expected to and perhaps this big rebuild that Zidane was you know commissioned to do it's not going the right way I mean he's bought all these players and he's still playing the old guard you've got people like Jovic who's no longer in the Serbian squad because he's not been playing for Real Madrid now for him that's a terrible thing so everything's not peachy over in Madrid in comparison if you look at Chelsea everything's going really really well there's like a sort of revolution and play style and obviously young personnel um, will he look at that and think man maybe I should have stayed Frank Lampard's there now he would have let me express myself like the other forwards currently are 
I felt confident at Stamford Bridge to play my game and be the best version of myself. Will he look back and think that? Maybe. Would, you know, would Chelsea have him back? Probably. But are Chelsea better now they don't have him playing as a team? I'd say yes. Now, I've obviously done a video on this like a while ago. And I speak about all the elements of why Chelsea would play better as a team without Ed and Hazard systemically because they inherently give him the ball and how the team plays out. I'll go through it into detail so you should check it out. But also I talk about the psychology of the other players developing an inferiority complex because they know Hazard's the talisman and the best player. That's all gone. Everyone's now equal in the Chelsea team and everyone's sort of at the same level building each other up, backing each other up and developing together and through that has come a better team collective performance. So there are positives from Eden Hazard's departure. So it's kind of like a sad story how he was the, the such a positive player, but Chelsea look like they could develop better without him as a team. Hopefully he sorts things out around Madrid. If not, he'll be welcome back at Chelsea regardless, right? Anyway, what do you think of today's video, guys? Get down in the comments, express your thoughts and opinions on the Pulisic situation. Conor Gallagher, do you think he should come into the team? Do you think Eden Hazard's form will pick up at Real Madrid and will he fill the boots of Cristiano Ronaldo? In terms of goals, he won't, obviously, because he just won't. But can he pick up the mantle of the go-to Galactico star in that team? Will he come back to Chelsea one day and work as a... Just an Eden Hazard? <laughs> if you have enjoyed the video, please do like the video, guys. And if you want to join me in the Discord chat for football therapy, you can click the Patreon link down in the description. And you can follow me on social media at FootballYannick on Twitter and Instagram at FootballYannick. Uh, I think that's it guys, you enjoy the football and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living, I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outline the chuck. In my life seen trouble, hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo chick like to guzzle, bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper, sorry I don't. I love me, baby.